Hey guys, uh, another short update for this Fiesta Red Strat. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or anything, you might have seen a couple pictures where I just showed like me routing out a little bit of this pickguard just to get me an idea of what was going to be happening. Um, just for the control layout that I've been trying to figure out. And I got the, uh, the one I'm going to use right here. I still haven't done anything with that one yet. But what I did was... I had the volume knob here and I had the toggle here, which I mentioned in uh, <clears throat> a little earlier in the video that I was going to do, but I mean, that's what I was planning on doing for a long time. And just because I'm so used to the volume knob being there, but a lot of guitars that have the same sort of layout with a toggle, not necessarily like a, a five-way blade or anything like that, um, most of them will actually have these two spots swapped and for a while like I really didn't like it but the more I thought about the wiring aspect it makes a hell of a lot more sense because it gets a lot of things out of the way and with with everything like this basically what I would have to do is I'd have to wire these uh, these pickups go all the way down to here then back up to here and then back down to the input jack and it really doesn't make a lot of sense to do that and by having the toggle here i'd actually move it over slightly and i think i'm uh if i do the volume here i'm actually going to move it down a little further um kind of like where uh like the second toe knob would be uh in a normal strat um so by doing that then they'll both go to here but they'll still, the pickups will still have the ground over here with uh, the volume. And then from the volume, it would just go straight to the input jack. So it should be a lot smoother. And hopefully, hopefully it goes okay. I mean, even if, even if I don't end up loving it right away, I mean, I'm sure the, uh, the real control scheme that I end up doing really won't matter all that much. I mean... To be honest, I mean, the placement of the volume doesn't really matter a whole lot. I mean, I know I don't like it super close, like in a normal Strat, where it has just the one, two, three. I know I don't like it so close right there because I can just always feel it. Um, the way that my picking hand rests, and I, I don't really like that. So I do like the idea of having it sort of out of the way. Um, and I guess it just kind of makes sense to have uh, the toggle right about there. Ideally, I think it'd be really cool to put it up on this upper horn. Um, I always saw that as something Alex Lifeson did with his uh, strats back in the 80s. Um, and I, I don't believe they are um, they're Fender strats. They are they're sports casters or something made from some other guy. Um, I don't remember what... Um, what the name is called but anyway it doesn't really matter um but he actually would have his toggle switch up there and it was actually like a three-way toggle which is really cool but i'd have to route like all up here behind the pick guard just to do that and it's not really worth it um but that would be pretty cool anyway you can kind of see i i drew like a couple little lines right there uh the two circles are where i had the uh the spots drilled in that pick guard, but I'm actually, like I said, going to be moving this one over a little bit, just maybe like, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, maybe almost half an inch, just to get uh, the toggle out of the way a little bit, and then this one will be going down a little bit further. I'm actually probably going to grab this extra strat plate that I have, just so I can... Um, um, just so I can know where I'm going to be able to put the volume knob, just because if I go too close um, to the edge or anything, I could be running into the wall of the body, which is something you really don't want to do. So um, definitely a lot of careful planning on this one. I don't want to fuck anything up. And this pick guard cost me like, I don't know, like 30 something bucks, but it's not really the money about it. It's just, I had to wait like two weeks to get this. Um, since it is a busy season and shipping takes a bit longer and obviously I had to get this custom made too so 
Um, I don't feel like waiting that long again. I just want to get this thing done, and I want to play it, and I want to really enjoy it because I know I'm really going to. So uh, that's all about all I got right now. So I'll see you later. All right, <clears throat> here's my newest dilemma. Started drilling the hole for the volume knob, which I decided was going to be kind of out of the way and pretty much as far down as you could. And it was off by like, it probably had to have been like a quarter of an inch or something and it's just too snug with the volume pot connected to fit in the guitar correctly without hitting like the side of the wood and you know I knew it could happen and unfortunately it did um, and as you can see this is this is where the toggle is going to go I ended up deciding to move it over a little bit but to also move it down a little bit just so it's a little more out of my way um, but that's where the volume is going to be and that's way bigger of a hole than I need obviously um, but what I've been doing is trying to just like widen the hole, but mostly like in that direction, just to try and uh, give me some room to push the pot that way, um, and still have enough of a hole size for this. Uh, I forget what kind of wash this is called, but it's it's good for just gripping um, when the two nuts on the pot are tightened. So um, hopefully there's still enough to grab and that the pot doesn't go anywhere and. I don't know. I, I might have fucked up too much and might have to get a new uh, pick guard, but, you know, shit happens. Unfortunately, you know. Kind of bummed about it, but what are you going to do? So that's where I'm at right now. Just trying to do, like, some test fittings and try and just make it work as best as I can. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, it's a new day, still working on this damn strat, it's still not done. Um, actually, I'm wearing the same hoodie as I was yesterday, but whatever. Um, so, last last thing I left off with was the fact that where I drilled the hole for this pot wasn't really the best spot for it. Like, it was just barely off, and I really didn't want to have to just like re-drill a hole up here and have that empty spot so I've been trying to salvage this hole the best I could um, and you can kinda see I have it in there loose right now but that's how much wiggle room it has since I've widened it out a bit to try and get it away from the side walls of the strat and I actually think I finally got it far enough away so that it's actually usable now thank god um, and where it is you can't you're not gonna really be able to tell um, that there's just like the tiniest bit of space still there and since I still have that washer with uh, with the grip on it um, it should hold just fine so I should be good to go and then I can attach the, uh, the toggle switch and then I should be able to finish this pretty quickly after that so um, I don't know if I mentioned this it did say that this material is extremely flammable and to keep away from heat and flames so I might just get an idea of where everything's gonna be positioned and then take it away from this to do it um, I know when I was drilling these holes out it smelled really bad like way worse than like a pearl did or anything like that so I might I might be uh, better off just making sure I'm not getting any flame or any uh, heat around this so um, I don't know. we'll see what happens All right, where'd I leave off? Um, <clears throat> so I had to fit the pick guard and everything to the body, but I mean, I got I got it where the volume knob was usable where it was without really drilling that new hole. Um, although if you take that volume pot out, you'll see that the hole's pretty ugly and whatever, it works. I don't care at this point. I don't plan on changing it or anything. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I did that I did not uh, take video for. Um, so I'll show you soon what I got down so far. Um, 
I fit the pickups to the pickguard. I set up where the, the volume knob was going to be, where the toggle switch was going to be. And I just figured out where everything was going to be wired. And so basically, I went from the neck pickup down to the toggle switch for for one thing and the ground of that was going to the back of the volume pot and then the same thing with the bridge pickup was going to the other side of the toggle switch and then to the uh, the ground of it was going to the back of the volume pot but what I did was I cut them basically to length uh, to like a good length overall and then I frayed out that metal uh, shielding around the pickup wire out a bit and then uh, twisted it just so it was like pretty sturdy and just like it was just jetting out just maybe like half an inch or something from the rest of the wire and I prepared that with some solder like I pre-soldered it a little bit and I got another wire that was going to go to that to the back of the pot, and this is for both the pickups, uh, just so I didn't have that long wire and trying to do something that was probably going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. So what I did was I got another wire that was going to be able to reach to the back of the pickup pot, and pretty much that's it. You want to make it so it's pretty snug, not super snug, but you know good enough, and then. After that, after you pre-solder both of those, you want to solder them together and make sure they're good to go. And then from that, I had to get some heat shrink tubing and get just enough to cover over that bare spot where the two wires are connecting and then just heat it up with a lighter and uh, <clears throat> shrink it down to make sure that it wasn't going to move or anything. So it wasn't going to get... It wasn't going to be like interrupted from like touching something else. It was it was covered and it was good to go. So I did that on both of the pickups, and like I said, uh, the middle of that. It's late. I'm I'm trying to do this and go to bed. Um, so they go to the toggle switch, but then that part that I just mentioned goes to the back of the pot, and that was for both of them. And then the middle part of that toggle switch. Basically, it's four parts. I know I showed you. It's like two on the ends. One is for the bridge. One is for the neck. And then there's two in the middle. Um, and that is the anchor point that's going to the volume pot, which is actually going to be like to the volume input of the volume pot. So that's going to the far left lug of the volume pot. And then that goes there, and that's all good. And then... The back of the toggle switch, which is just for grounding, um, I took a wire from there to the far right lug of the volume pot, but from that lug it goes to the back of the pot, so that whole part is getting grounded. So what I did was I, I soldered the wire at the back of the toggle switch, and then I have that wire stripped enough to touch that lug as it's going through the little circle and it's soldered there and then it's still going, the wire's still going to the back of the pot and I soldered it there too. Um, I didn't have to do that but it, you know, I, that's kind of how I've been learning how to do it and you know, it's, it looks better I think so and it's easier to fix if I have to like redo something so. Um, after that what did I do? Um, after that, I, I decided to undo the wires that I had already soldered to the input jack just because it was going to be easier to fit everything. So I took the, the two wires out of, well, not the input jack, the output jack, and I soldered the red one, which was the hot wire, and I soldered that to the middle lug of the pot and then then the black wire just went to the back of the pot just to ground and then 
I also had a ground wire going underneath the bridge that I soldered just to the back of the pickup as well, or not the pickup, to the pot. So after that, I kind of just fit everything in there as best I could. Sometimes you're going to have to take the neck off to do that, and sometimes you can get away with not having to do that. If my body wasn't routed like a swimming pool route, um, where it's just all like taken out, if it was just like two pickup cavities and then like a bunch more wood in the middle, then I would have almost definitely had to have taken out, uh, taken off the neck just to fit everything in there because uh, the neck overhangs a little bit. So I did all that. And then I got the input jack, output jack wires uh, going through the hole again. And then I just wired the output jack just straight to that and then just put it in there. I, I tested it by plugging it in. I didn't have any strings on it yet. And just tapping it with a screwdriver and just like messing with the, uh, the toggle switch and the volume knob, making sure it all worked. And thankfully it did. And so I strung it up and it needs... I realized that I'm, I am going to have to take the neck off to adjust it. I, I thought it was going to be okay where it was, but unfortunately it wasn't. Um, and I'm going to have to, you know, intonate it and do, like, all the string height and everything. But for now, um, it looks great. I can at least show you what it's going to pretty much look like when it's just completely done. So um, let's check it out. So here's the volume here, toggle, <laughs> yeah that's a little ugly. Um, I am also going to do a, uh, a string tree there. I might do a second string tree for right there, you, yeah, they're, they're not tight at all. Um, but I don't know, I definitely have to at least do one, so we'll see. And here's the back side. So that's pretty much it. And I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll do some videos showing off how to do uh, like the setup and stuff as best as I can. I'm not great at it for right now, but we'll see what happens. And uh, thanks for watching.